Hello friends, welcome back to North Carolina. I've been spending some time in Winston-Salem visiting friends. Today I'm leaving the area and heading up north to a small town called Mount Airy, the hometown of Andy Griffith. If you're like me, you've watched many episodes of the Andy Griffith Show over the years. Let's go check out his hometown and see his museum. Hello friends, welcome. Sarah and I are hanging out in Mount Airy, North Carolina today, the hometown of Andy Griffith. You might remember Mayberry. Well, this town was the muse for the, the fictional town in the show. We're gonna go check out this museum and it's really cold right now, so we're gonna, we should do that right now. <laughs> Admission ticket, you can put these on and wear them, or you can keep them as a souvenir. Oh, thank you. Know where that's going to go. Unfortunately, we are unable to record video in the museum, but we can take as many pictures as we want. In this interview, I had some photos of his house that he grew up in, cafes that he hung out at, some people that came around because of Andy. And here we see the museum itself. It's not very big, but there's a lot of stuff. A lot of ways to learn about him and his life. Here you see his boyhood slingshots, the actual slingshot that he used. If you've ever been to the Outer Banks, you might recognize Andy from The Lost Colony, the theatrical production that's been going on for years, or from one of these many plays, movies, or TV shows that's posted up around the museum. Like Matlock, an excellent show that I kind of forgot about. This is a manuscript from one of the original Andy Griffith shows and the shirt that Andy wore in a lot of the episodes. A letter here stating it's the real deal. The outfit of Goober Pyle, the bronzed Goober hat. <laughs> I love that character. There's surprisingly a lot of memorabilia in this small museum, including the outfit for Otis Campbell, played by Hal Smith. Hal kept this hat with him for years the original hat that he wore in all of the episodes showed it to fans because they asked about it. And this was the original stuff from the courtroom. The gavel, the pins, the chair, everything. It's from the actual show. The tour is almost over, so we got our picture taken in front of the Mayberry Courthouse. Before we leave, we got to check out the gift shop. It's pretty small, but they have just what I wanted. A pack of postcards to send to one of you and we had a nice conversation with the lady working behind the counter told us a lot more about the town and Andy before we moved on to explore more well that was a really cool museum I liked it what was your favorite part about it um, they had interactive videos where you could see his music yeah place. that was cool his musical career was interesting yeah I my favorite album cover was the one uh, within in the uh, Conquistador oh. outfit. What was it called? Anyway, it was, it was cool. It was funny. <laughs> I didn't know he did so much. Anyway, thanks for watching today, friends. Thanks for joining us in Mount Airy, North Carolina. We appreciate it. I appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video. very warm in Florida to be wearing this leather jacket and wool sweater. Woo. North Carolina is a beautiful place, but I'm glad to be back to the fantasy, back to the beaches, back home. New adventures from Florida and other places coming up next. Thanks for being here. I'll see you in the next video.